Hello and welcome back yet again to my top six countdown of movies that are so bizarre they are worth seeing more than once. I am the Ranting Usher and I have been posting a different video each week going down the list. I can't believe I'm down to number two already. If you happen to miss some of my videos during the countdown, I plan on posting them on my blog on RantingUsher.com so you can follow them in order. With Shutter Island at number 6, Inception at number 5, Twelfth Monkeys at number 4, and Jacob's Ladder at number 3, the time has come for me to reveal the second movie on my list. Let me talk you to your seat. Number 2. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Director Tim Burton's 1988 horror comedy classic oozed idiosyncratic brilliance. Rarely have I seen a movie that was such a smorgasbord of oddities. It practically established its own universe of strange. Adam and Barbara Maitland, a deceased couple played by Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis, were forced to contend with intrusive and obnoxious newcomers. They turned to Beetlejuice, a reckless bio-exorcist, Michael Keaton, to help haunt them out of their house. Viewers were asked to sympathize with the dead rather than the living, thus altering the stereotypical haunted house scenario in a way that was entirely original in the late 80s. That Winona Ryder's character, Lydia, related to the deceased couple rather than her own family members, created a unique twist. Lydia's motivation to convince her family their house was haunted and that the Maitlands were benevolent spirits raised a fascinating question. Could the living and the dead ever truly coexist? Michael Keaton's slapstick antics, his sardonic humor, and ability to be genuinely frightening were delivered with eclectic, if not bipolar, enthusiasm. Keaton didn't waste a single moment. Beetlejuice was hilarious, a supernatural delight. The afterlife and the macabre were depicted seriously in some parts and satirically in others. The film teased audiences. We had no idea what to expect. That's clever writing and clever directing. Beetlejuice dripped with pure substance and imagination, surreal special effects, an amusing tone, a compelling score composed by Danny Elfman, an original subject matter that defied stereotypes, and sheer acting talent. It was an unforgettable addition to Tim Burton's filmography, and definitely a movie worth several viewings. What do you think about Beetlejuice? How do you feel about it being number two on my list? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you for watching the video. I am the Ranting Usher. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as it helps the channel out a lot and I would really appreciate it. You're also welcome to share, or if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel for reviews of movies, trailers, TV shows. I also do tributes, countdowns, and speculations. Don't forget to come back next week for the number one most bizarre movie on my countdown. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.